Hey everyone, my name is Rebecca and today I'm going to be showing you what a day in the life of a library assistant looks like. So to start off, I'm just coming into the library and as I'm coming in, I'm just turning on all the lights and getting all my own stuff put away, all that fun stuff that you do when you start work. Just unlocking all the cabinets that I need for the day, all the drawers, everything like that, getting the space set up for myself and for our library patrons. Depending on what kind of library you work in, your day is going to differ. So for me, as a library assistant in a medical library, we have a much smaller library, um, so we have a lot less space to manage. And right now I'm just going through and checking out that space and doing a little shelf read, seeing that everything is in order, um, all the books are nicely lined up, and then I'm actually going to do a quick actual shelf read of the call numbers on the spine of the books and making sure that they are all in order. This is something that I try to do on a daily basis in small chunks just so it's a little bit more manageable. Our library is actually open 24 hours um, for people who are employees of the hospital so it's important for me in the morning to go around and check and make sure everything's okay. We also have these computer stations so making sure that nothing has been um, left on and there's no you know personal information that's on there and yeah just going around all the sections of the library and checking on all the books I think one of the most underrated parts of being a library assistant is the fact that you're actually kind of like a guardian for the books you're there to make sure that they are all okay and that they are in the proper space and they're not getting stolen or damaged and at the back there we have a little book sale cart to raise funds for new books in the collection. So that's why I'm moving things around, I'm not <laughs> putting things out of order there. Just making sure that area is nice and neat. We also have a display area at the back of the library, so I'm just checking on that display and I noticed that there was a book that had been taken out, so I'm just finding a replacement there so it's not super empty. And then I'm also going into the conference room. So this is the area of the library that gets the most action, um, the little conference area where people can have group meetings. So just making sure that area is okay and then I can finally go back to my desk and get started on my own work for the day. So just getting my desk area set up. Now because I work in a medical library, I have a very service focused uh, job. So instead of trying to do a lot of education and telling people how they can find their own research and their own books, I end up getting a lot of emails of people who want me to find those things for them. So. Uh, the first thing I do in the morning with my morning coffee is I go through my emails and usually I have a few article requests from physicians and administrators and um, other staff members in the hospital who are looking for full text of an article. And I also subscribe to some professional listservs, so I'm looking through those emails, keeping apprised of what's happening in the profession, and just checking my email for all kinds of other fun stuff. News about the organization, I got a comic, which I always love to read there. <laughs> it is very boring to watch, um, but it actually is a fairly exciting part of my job. And I also do read the morning paper, um, just so that I am keeping up to date on what's happening locally. We do get a lot of people coming in to the library who want to have a little bit of a chat, so keeping up to date on what's happening in local politics and national politics and you know things that happen around the community is always important for me and I make sure I do that in the morning with my little morning coffee. So the other thing that I do is I also manage the calendar for our conference room, so our little meeting room. Um, so I usually check that each morning to see who has that booked. I'm doing that now. And I also see anything that I'm doing for the day and what the librarian is doing for the day. And as part of my circulation duties, I am checking in a book for a patron. So I am just going to the back and looking at the 
little book pocket and this is when I get my first patron of the day. So I essentially stop what I'm doing <laughs> and I have to obviously answer the patron's question. So she was looking for some support on a medical app that she has, but we don't carry that app. We don't have any information on it, unfortunately. So I did refer her to one that we do support, um, but yeah, that was that conversation. <laughs> And then going back to circulation. So we do use the book cards and pockets instead of like a barcode system and an RFID system. Because we are a very small library, we don't really have the budget for that and um, it actually would interfere with the medical equipment. So we just have little paper slips there and so I'm just checking it in. I've already checked it in on the computer as well. And then I do my own personal planning in the morning. Um, so I usually have a couple of things that I just want to do, you know, like my own personal budgeting and um, my own tasks for the day. I try to get those done when I can. Um, so I'm going through my planner, changing things around, looking at what I want to get accomplished if I can today. And then I also look at the next day and sort of add some things in there. This just helps me keep my mind centered more than anything else, and that does help improve my work performance. Planning is very important stuff to me, so that's why I do that. I've got this handy little magnetic bookmark that I love. And then I'm also looking at my work checklist for the day. So I have a list of things I want to accomplish each week and I just go through and check those things off as I do them. And of course, add things on. That's definitely something that is very common to library assistant work that you're constantly adding things to your to-do list and taking things off. Definitely need a lot of time management skill. And then I'm going back to the computer and right now I am getting the full text articles that a physician requested. She gave me I think a list of I think 20 articles that she wanted so I'm just going to each different journal and finding an access option and then sending that off to her when I have them and the most important thing is to mark it in your stat sheet. And then here I am checking out a book for a patron. I thought I would use this time to show you guys some of the coolish vintage stuff that we have at the library. I love seeing this. This is our stamp wheel that is kind of rusty, but I love it nonetheless. Super vintage. Obviously a little date stamp. Necessary, of course. Um, it says card, card catalog. This is actually for our book checkout, so it's like a circulation catalog. Um, but I thought the box was cute. I actually got it for Christmas. And then we are also going to look at the Cardex, which is a super vintage way of storing all of your journal uh, subscriptions. So when you get a print one come in, you just check off that you've got it. And of course, the Lego Librarian, because every librarian needs a little Lego Librarian. I actually look like this most days. <laughs> and now back to our regularly scheduled programming. So I'm still just checking out this book here um, for a patron and I'm gonna hand that to them and get that settled and squared away. And then that book you can see on the desk, I'm gonna go put that away. So we use the National Library of Medicine classification system. So I am just going to this section that uh, is for this book and checking out all those shelf labels and figuring out where the heck it goes. This is where all of my library training is from. And there we go, nice in place. And then we have a patron coming in. So this is clearly a nurse, as you can tell from the hot pink scrub pants. And so we do have a lot of people actually come into the library asking for help. So this patron just wanted to know where some books on a specific nursing subject were. So just trying to understand what her question was, doing a little reference interview. Um, and then once I figured out that she was after one specific book, um, I went to our catalog typed in what she was looking for and put the call number on that little piece of paper and then go went and got it for her. And she also needed some help with the copier and printer, which is another huge thing that is uh, a part of my job. 
Um, I spent a lot of time standing over this machine, um, helping with logging in, um, any technical errors, so paper jams, fax issues, stuff like that. Um, that is all part of my repertoire. And yeah, people have a lot of issues with this machine, so I definitely need to be kept apprised of what's happening. And then once she has been squared away, she leaves. That's actually my wife. <laughs> Didn't just film a random patron. Um, and then this is an interlibrary loan book that we got from our neighboring university. So I'm just putting a slip on the cover that says when the due date is and whether or not it is uh, able to be renewed and sliding that on nice and perfectly. It's also got our library contact details and a little you know, logo there, so it's kind of like a little promotional tool, but of course it's mainly for that. And then we've got some filing. Um, so this is another huge part of usually my mornings. I maintain all the orders for the library, interlibrary loan invoice payments, and statistics. And then finally I can go on my lunch. Um, so. I usually eat my lunch in my office and I most often watch YouTube videos on my lunch so I'm just getting set up for that um, but I also do some reading on my lunch I use this app called overdrive from my local public library and you can just download books right to your phone and read them right in the app it is super convenient so I usually do a little bit of reading and then of course going on social media and making sure I am up to date with everybody. Making myself hungry looking at all this. <laughs> and then after my lunch, I'm usually carrying a book around, that's just sort of my job. And then um, I am working on an actual search request. So this is for an administrative assistant who wanted all of the publications that her doctor had uh, written up in the past few years so I am literally searching for their names and coming up with a huge list of all the uh, articles that they had published for her and it does take a while so that's why we're fast forwarding I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that for you know an hour and a half and then the phone rings of course So usually people want to know if we have a specific book, when the library is open, how do they get there, do we have a fax machine, can they print stuff, a lot of directional questions but we do get classic reference questions as well. So it is important that um, we answer the phones of course. And then to finish out my day I'm doing some marketing. So these are all posters that I have made in the past year or so um, I oversee the marketing for our hospital library system and so I just found an example of one that I thought would work for what we're doing this year and I just take that back to my desk to use as a reference for the new poster that I'll create and then I also have a look through the marketing desk that we have, little drawer there, um, of all the different sort of display uh, stuff that we can put up just to jazz it up a bit and just seeing if there's anything that would match the color scheme for this month, which yeah, there wasn't. <laughs> and then that was the last thing I did today, so the next thing is just closing up the library. So very similar to the beginning of this video, just turning off all the lights, making sure everything is locked up, and then once that's all said and done, leaving for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something about what a library assistant does. This is just a very typical day and I hope you guys have a good week. See you later.